Empire Endless here. And I'm continuing to look at Lars a bit as I went over some silent entry stuff in the last quick fix video. Whether you play Lars or not, you may find it eye-opening and or entertaining. That's all in the card in the upper right hand corner. Before, it was analyzing silent entry on block. Today, we're gonna to look at what happens when you're playing Lars and you go into silent entry on hit, or rather, when you defer from going into it. Here's the quick fix. There are a good amount of moves and strings Lars can use to go into stances and into silent entry stance. Flash Claw to silent entry is one of those strings. Plus six on hit, and Lars will transition nicely into silent entry with those plus frames to play with. Charge Factor to silent entry also gives the same plus frames. But in both cases, you have to commit to a button because of course you cannot block in silent entry stance. You're in it. You have arrived in it and you cannot cancel out of it. It is a guessing game that I would say is advantageous for Lars at plus six, but that doesn't mean you're going to win the guessing game. I mean, let's just say you're going up against someone like Konimitsu here. She might be able to blow you up anyway, just as good as anyone else. You can also, after Flash Claw and Charge Factor hits, press nothing. That may very well save you from certain types of attacks. You can delay pressing a button in silent entry, but again, you also cannot block. Now, Flash Claw all by itself. I mean, performing the hits and holding back, Lars is plus three. Charge factor, however, all on its own, you're plus five. This was my, hmm, that's interesting moment because you do not have to commit to a button. You can see what your opponent does and how they respond. See how much they love pressing buttons. Like in the case of Konimitsu here, who likes to throw out that ever so great power crush that's minus 13 on block. Another point of note is Flash Claw starts out at 13 frames and Charge Factor starts off at 12. Just like a very familiar friend, if you're a Lars player, called Death Mask. Death Mask is Lars' prototypical punish at 12 frames. So go ahead and knock your opponent down and set up ground game. Or, as the title of this video heavily suggests, leave them dead on their feet. Punish them with Charge Factor and leave them standing. The Charge Factor Nullify really allows you to analyze your opponent and it allows Lars to facilitate some defense. For instance, if you notice your opponent likes to throw out a lot of high attacks, instead of going into silent entry and play all offense, you can perhaps sit back and punish your opponent for something. It allows Lars to choose offense, defense. You can do either. You can sidestep, you can do nothing. For Lars players, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or maybe even well advanced. Implement this. Have some fun with this, as opposed to going into silent entry with one more frame of advantage, but more risk. And if you play against Lars, it's just one more Tekken-ish thing to watch out for. Continue your Tekken journey. Subscribe while you're here. Hit New Wave Tekken up on Twitter to talk Tekken. I'm Audi5000.